Hello folks and welcome. Filming in 1080. Subscription logo is in the corner, uh, right hand corner, 500 videos. If not, find me on YouTube. So uh, today I'm going to give you a demo on two different application launchers and file launchers. What are they good for? Um, frequently used programs. Okay, I'll walk you through the first one. I'm looking for calculator. All right, I'm going to use Alt and F4 because my F4 is not assigned to anything to close the application because I'm using a tower computer. So I'm going to use the other one now. So I have two of these applications that are separate to do the same job. CA for calculator. And you can see it. Um, so whatever your favorite applications that you are currently use quite often, we can talk about a couple of things. So I have a couple of games in here and one of them is uh, called that, but I'm going to use SOL for solitaire. And then maybe uh, I'll change things up and use LibreOffice Writer. And maybe that's a common thing you use and maybe even Golden Dictionary if you have that installed. So let's do a couple of those. They'll so do the card game first, SOL, and you can see it found it immediately. And I'll, again, I'll use Alt and F4. If not, use the X in the corner to close your, your programs or applications. I'll use the other tool, SOL. You can see it had found the card game immediately. And Alt and F4 to close. If I was looking for LibreOffice Writer, WRI. And you can see it's underlined. Activate it. And Alt and F4 to close. I'll use the other tool for the same thing, WRI. I'm not going to activate that one. So if I was looking for software manager, SOF. And the other tool, SOF. All right, let me talk about these uh, particular applications and the settings. The icons are down here on the panel. I will open up the settings for both of them. You generally would not be running both of these at the same time but I'm giving you the demo between the two. So both of them, you, this one is called that, that one is this one. Both of them can start automatically on logins if you activate them. You can also change the shortcut that activates them. So generally the default is control space. You can change that by clicking. So I kept one at default and changed the other because I have both of them running to demo that for you. It's very simple. All I need to do is click that and assign it a new activation key. You generally do not want to use the spacebar by itself because your spacebar is used for a lot of things like typing in web browsers, typing letters. So you probably want to use a two key combination. That is all up to you what you want to assign it. But the default is control space on both of them. Both of these contain plugins, which I haven't experimented with. Feel free, but I'm just showing you the general tab. Now I'm going to be using one of these to open up Software Manager to show you where the programs are located or applications. You can find them both in the accessory options or you can type for them. The first one is this one. It is five megabytes. It is a system package, not flat pack. It has a couple of screenshots. So you can install that if you prefer that one. Or if you prefer maybe this one. That one's 3.5 megabytes and it is a system package, not flat pack. It also has a couple of screenshots. You can launch a lot of things. So whatever your favorite applications are, Maybe it's a game. Maybe it's uh, something you run office things. Maybe you're looking for like system monitor. System monitor just came up. But more importantly, whatever you are doing, these are just application launchers. Thank you for watching.